Examine this ketone. I have here carbon 1, carbon 2. I'm looking over here at what? 2-cyclobutene. This en indicates an alkene and then own for a ketone. And you see it. This side is 2-cyclobutene own. If I were to bring here a good base, it can abstract alpha hydrogens. You have an alpha hydrogen here and here. They're both equivalent. But you also have an alpha hydrogen here. If you were to pull this alpha hydrogen, you'll develop a carbanion right at this particular site and you can develop here an alkene but there'll be two adjacent alkenes and it will be sterically impossible to generate an alene over here this alpha hydrogen is not a proper alpha hydrogen to pull out it'll be one of these and this will abstract one of those you'll end up with here electrons coming back to this alpha site the base will be protonated and you're seeing it right here you'll develop here a carbanion right here at this particular site you have your alkene functionality and you are looking at this and now what you can do is involve a resonance here with the carbonyl functionality and in this particular case you'll develop an alkene over here and the oxygen will become negatively charged you've transferred the negative from here to here this alkene stays as is if you were to bake this in the presence of a base which is protonated here the oxygen can snatch this and you can send the electrons back here regenerate the base you're going to develop an enol but is any of this even likely let's find out we have our enol we've gone here from the keto to the enol if you look here in terms of aromaticity 4n plus 2 rule, this fails it. If you look at in terms of aromaticity, this succeeds that rule. This compound here is aromatic. The keto version is aromatic. The enol is non-aromatic. So none of this is even likely at all. You're going to have the 2-cyclobutanone remain as such because the keto version or the form, the tetomer here, favors aromaticity and it is aromatic. You're going to see none of this enol generate and the keto form is the only form which is going to be present here at the end of the reaction.